Hey, what's going on, chess lover? This is uh, Maurice Bishop, founder of Life is a Game of Chess. Uh, I wanted to show y'all uh, a game that I played against uh, 2342. Uh, obviously, I'm a 2149. I'm actually, I was a 2200, but I kept losing um, on time. It's like I'd be winning, but I'd be losing on time. So I guess I wasn't, I wasn't moving fast enough. But, um, but yeah, um, but yeah, I'm a 2149, but I'm added on um, the 15 points after that, so I should be good. But yeah, I played 2342. I want to show you how I um, beat him in this um, bullet game. Um, I played black and he played white, so let's get started. Uh, he played e4, I played d5. He takes, I go knight f6, knight c3, I go e6. It's kind of like an isolated gambit. Um, bishop catches e6, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b2, you know, developing. I go bishop c5, you know, um, he castles. And I go queen e7, because I'm getting ready to castle queen side. Uh, he goes d3, I castle queen side, he go a3, which I already know that he's already trying to do a pawn push. You know, like Ginger GM will always say, bury the b pawn. <laughs> That's what you always say. But anyway, um... I'll go h5, so I, I do use Harry to h4. <laughs> and um, he goes b4, I go bishop d6, and he goes b5, you know, really trying to do his pulling storm and stuff on my queen side. I go knight e5, he takes, bishop catches e5, so I'm hitting his, um, I'm hitting his knight on c3, right? So, from the looks of it, it seems like white is okay, or whatever, um, because he, you know, exchanging pieces, I guess. I don't know. But he goes bishop b2, which is uh, a blunder. Um, he kind of should have kept that bishop on at c1. Because right now I'm aiming at his king side. So I just went bishop captures h2. Uh, he takes. I go knight g4. And just to let y'all know, if he goes bishop captures g4 and I take back with the h point, you know, yes, he could go g3. Uh, he can go g3, so he probably could have been a little bit safe, maybe. Oh, no, he couldn't. I'm sorry. No, he couldn't. If he takes the on uh, my knight, uh, if he takes my knight, then uh, I'll go uh, h catches g4 with a check. And after that, that would be, <laughs> that would be kind of like a torture <laughs> if he did that. So as y'all know, bishop catches g4 would be bad, bad, right? But he goes king g3. And the reason why he goes king g3, because if he goes um, king g1 or king h1, I just would have go queen h4 check. Uh, if he goes king h1. But if he goes king g1 and I go queen h4, there's no way he could stop that mate. Because now, the only way he can do is go um, bishop catcher g4. And once I take um, back with my pawn, it, there's no way he could stop the mate. Simple as that. Um... So that's why he goes king g3. I go h4 check. Uh, if he does go king h3, then I will go knight e3 check, and I'll be winning his queen. So that's why he went king f3. I just went queen f6 check. Notice he can't get to king e3 because of my knight on g4. So only square he got is king e4, and I go queen f5 check me. And there you have it. That's how I beat the 2342. All right. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Until then. Peace.